Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are surviving this time and you're coping with everything and you're doing well with your kids being at home. Today I wanted to share with you the um, Mina Bay Midi Harper and um, kind of how I have it packed up. And then also I wanna compare it to the um, Midi Stevie, which I just recently reviewed this. So I will link that for you up above so that you can go check this video out. This here is actually a different color. The color that I did um, originally in the Stevie was the nude and that's what this Harper is it's a nude color and you can see here this is a little bit lighter and this color is ash I know it's kind of hard to tell on the website the difference um, between the colors this is definitely a really nice light gray color this is just like a really beautiful neutral nude color it the name for both of these is spot-on for what they are First of all, let's go over the Midi Harper. The very first bag that I ever reviewed from Mina Bay was the Harper, but it was the original size. And I love that bag. I think it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, um, a little big for what I needed. And so I actually ended up getting the Mini Harper. I always found that I needed a little more space. And so when they came out with this Midi Harper, I was like totally sold, that's the bag for me. And after packing it up, I am in love with this size. It's the perfect size for me. I actually had to go today and get my um, blood drawn. Even with all of this stuff going on, um, sh my doctor still wanted me to go and um, check some of my levels. I took this bag, but not any kids with me. My husband was home to watch the kids, but I didn't feel um, dumb walking around with this bag. I actually felt like this bag was awesome and beautiful and like just a beautiful, perfect size. It still has all my like diaper needs in it and stuff for my kids in it, but um, without changing bags and stuff um, between trips by myself and trips with the kids, I think this Midi, Ste this Midi Harper and the Midi Stevie are both really amazing sizes and styles that work really well. Just a mom bag or a diaper bag as well. Let me show you how this packs up just over here on the side I've actually just um, threw in my sunglasses right there sometimes I put them over here in um, this pocket which is the neoprene pocket um, right here I also wanted to mention I do have a little charm this is from oh shoot I hope I don't say it wrong I think it's Reese and Co I will link them down below um, I just grabbed this and then like a bluish one for one of my Dagny Dover bags a group bluish greenish one but I have tried this on like all of my um, Mina Bay bags and I feel like it looks really good with like all of them so um, yeah just find yourself a good little neutral charm and it just adds something a little extra and cute to the outside of your bag now something new that um, did not used to come on the Harper were these D rings here so you could attach this um, little strap I absolutely love this strap. I think it's um, the perfect length. It is something, an add-on for this bag. I think it's like $12 or something, but it's definitely worth the extra cost. I would say um, it's just a nice grab and like throw over your shoulder before you really wanna like put it onto your back. Um, I don't know if they've switched this since last time I had the Harper. I feel like maybe it is. These straps are really nice width. Um, they're really comfortable on my back. I really love this detailing here at the bottom. It has this little piece here so it holds the like so it holds this tail and um, just the width of it feels really comfortable on my back. Since my first Harper this is also um, new. Back here you have a zippered section right here. Um, I just have what oh a UPS drop off um, receipt. So that's back there, but then also you have another pocket right here that has a magnetic closure and the zipper of course right here so you can use this as a luggage sleeve. So that is all brand new to the back of the Harper. Um, of course the neoprene pouch, I just threw my keys in there. And then this front section right here, it looks like it might possibly have um, two separate pockets, but again this is a magnetic closure. You can see right here that it has this little magnet um, nice strong magnet I really like it and you have this whole space to work with so in here I have my little Dagny Dover wallet and then I can easily fit my phone into that pocket as well you can see it fits fine sideways up and down it will barely fit but it will probably keep the magnet from like closing all the way so I just tend to turn it sideways that's about how big it is in that pocket I love the um, handle here it's a rolled handle it's nice and sturdy really easy like hang up in my mudroom and stuff just the style of this bag is really really beautiful it does kind of have a triangular shape here and like I've mentioned in some past videos 
Um, sometimes that doesn't work well for me. It doesn't sit right on my back. This sits really well onto my back. I will show you at the end of the video how this and this DV compare on my back, but it just feels really comfortable. One of my favorite things about the Harper is this beautiful zip across here with this really long zipper pull. I just love it. It's so unique. Just one of the prettiest things about this bag. So you, it opens here with the zip. It does have a tail here. But if you kind of unsnap that there, there's a snap. So it's really easily snapped in. Sometimes I don't even undo the snap to get into this section. I haven't had an issue yet with um, Mina Bay zippers not being smooth, so I'm really happy with that. You can see how far this extends out on this side and almost that amount on this side. So you can really um, see everything in your bag nice and easily. Before I forget, you do have some really nice feet on the bottom. They are, they don't stick out too far, so I don't know how much protection that would give the bottom exactly. Um, I do think they're pretty and they will provide some sort of protection to the base of the bag. This is really beautiful top grain leather. It all looks very uniform and nice looking. And this bag in this color is absolute perfection. Okay, so back here in the back, you have this padded section. This would be great for iPads, Kindles, um, little mini iPads, things like that. Um, back here, I'm keeping a play pack. And then I also have my Lily Jade medium packing case. This one has all of my diapering needs in it and also um, some extra underwear. In front of that, you can see there is a long zipper. In here, I have what, just like um, an Ikea receipt. Um, movie tickets, which we are not going to be able to use for a while, which is sad, but necessary. Also at the bottom of that pocket, I have tied to go pen and a just little blue pen. In the very center of the bag, I have another um, Lily Jade packing case. This one is the small one. Um, it actually fits quite a few snacks in here, which I like. We ate some of them, but um, normally this would carry quite a few snacks and it's just a perfect size to kind of throw into the middle here vertically. Can you tell I'm like willing it to be spring with all these, um, bright colors I have going on. Two elasticated pockets here in the back. In this one, I'm keeping some different wipes. Over here in this one, I have some tissues. Now these side elastic pockets are actually pretty big. So I was able to fit these um, Dagny Dover pouches that are really nice and full. In this one, this is carrying um, med stuff for my kids. So I have medicine and then I also have um, some sunscreen. But down here is one of those welly tins that has like band-aids and ointment and stuff. So that is all inside of this. Over here on this side, I have another Dagny Dover pouch. And in here, this is where I'm keeping stuff for me. So I have like medicine and I have um, deodorant, eye drops, some more um, lip products. I have a nail file. There's also um, some lotion in there. So it's just all kind of my mommy stuff. Let me turn this around so you can see this side a little bit better. Again, you have two more elasticated pockets down at the bottom. In this itsy ritzy pouch, I am keeping of course my forever in my bag squigs and then right over here in this one I have um, a couple of boogie boards then I love these two pockets here at the top just to um, utilize some of this space up here since it is a taller bag I have my earphones they just charge nicely in this case which is great um, it's called J Lab. Those are from Target, I believe, but they fit really, really nicely into that slip pocket. And then over here in this zippered section, it's kind of a shorter pocket, but it works really well for things like hand sanitizer, which is a hot commodity right now. And then just my different um, lip products are in here as well. Now, just for fun, I kind of want to let you take a look at the interior of both of these bags. So you just saw that whole interior of the Harper. So I quickly want to walk you through um, the similarities between that and the um, Stevie. So the Stevie is also a um, top grain leather bag. And in here you have again, the same like back section here, but it does have this really cute um, little closure that the Harper Midi does not have. And then everything else is set up pretty much exactly the same. So you have your zippered section here. You have two elasticated pockets on this side. You have two elasticated pockets, one over here, one over here on the sides. 
and then turning it around you have those same pockets where you have the zippered section here and the um, little slip pocket right here so um, it's pretty much exactly the same on the interior except for this little um, closure here for this back padded section you can see the different ways that they open the handles obviously are a little bit different this dv is just like closer to the bag it's a flat handle instead of a roll rolled handle um so i think they're both pretty easy to grab i think the um harper might be a little bit easier to get a hold of really all in all they're both great um, grab handles this dv also comes with a um, little strap here that's a shorter strap um, like I mentioned, the strap for the Harper that you can get here, like a shorter strap just like this TV, um, this is an extra that you'll have to add on when you add this bag to your cart. Um, but when you get the TV, this automatically comes with it along with the um, longer, um, bigger strap here. Um, the Harper does not have that option because I think it's mainly meant to be a backpack, but I do love having this little strap here to just like throw it over your shoulder really quickly. Okay, so since we've looked at the interior of the bags, let's look at the exterior of both bags. Now, the zipper pull is obviously really different on the Harper. It has that really long, kind of dramatic look here with this long zipper pull. So there's no hardware here that says Mina Bay like um, normally they have. I would say this is their normal hardware they have on all their bags that says Mina Bay. They have that for the zipper here. And as you can see, even on the Harper, like the side pocket here um, has that um, leather zipper pull instead of a metal one and you might like that better if you don't want it, your bag to be noisy at all this obviously is going to be less noisy um, than this one is even though I don't find either one of them to be noisy but if that's something that you um, are really thinking about then uh, maybe the Harper would be the better option for you now looking at this front pocket the security is different here so you have a really nice magnetic closure here and I don't find this to be an issue I think it always stays closed I mean if you really stuff this it might be a problem but um, I haven't had an issue with this but if you're really worried about things like staying secure and you don't want just a magnet the Stevie is really awesome because it does have that kind of hidden zippered look so from the front you can't see the zipper but from the top you just unzip it here and actually in the Stevie you have a little more going on so you have like a key clip here and then you also have two slip pockets on the inside of this pocket whereas in the Harper you just have a nice like open space here now really quickly looking at the back of the bag you can see that the backpack straps for the Harper do not detach. So like I mentioned, this is pretty much strictly meant to be a backpack. So that makes sense that um, the straps would not detach from the bottom or the top. And like I mentioned, it has that really beautiful and um, detailing way that they adjust the bag. On the back of the Stevie, these straps are detachable from the top and the bottom. So you can completely remove this and then um, attach your messenger strap on the D-rings on the side here and wear it as a messenger bag or just over your shoulder. But um, back here in the back of this one, there is no zippered pocket like there is on the back of the Harper. You can see that back zippered section there. Um, but the little back pocket right here is a little bit smaller. It still has the um, luggage sleeve, but this one here is a really nice deep pocket, really big. And again, it does have a magnetic closure and it does have the luggage sleeve at the bottom. So just a bigger, pocket or and also luggage sleeve back here and you can remove these backpack straps i find them both to be really really comfortable but i will say that the thickness of the harper straps um, probably gets my vote okay now just looking at the sides of the bags you can see the one pocket the neoprene um, pocket that they're really well known for is on the side of the harper um, you can have this kind of go to the front or to the side. So the pocket is kind of um, movable in there. You can decide where you want that to go. The side of the Stevie has these magnetic pockets and these are pretty nice and roomy. You see my whole hand fits in there. And then also instead of some sort of snap closure like the Harper has up here for the tail, um, since there is no tail necessarily for the um, sides of the Stevie. They actually have the sides of the bag kind of curved down and give it and give the bag that like slouchy look. And I love that on the um, midi Stevie, there is no like hardware to mess with on the sides. You just have 
the magnet here and also a magnet right up here and they're very nice and strong so this finds its home very nice and easily you can see it just did you see that it just snaps back down all by itself now again looking at the other side there are no other pockets on the outside of the harper but over here on the stevie you have another nice big pocket and then you have your um, long neoprene pocket here so this can go like to the side back here or you can push it to the side back here and it is the neoprene lining which i really like on all their bags so that you can um, put things there that you want to keep protected or things that are going to be wet i feel like i find myself putting my sunglasses into those pockets because it's just like nice and cushy fabric now like height wise and everything um i think that they're really similar in terms of their size you can see that the stevie is a little bit wider the whole way up i think they're the same size at the bottom but the harper gets skinnier at the top which when you're putting this over your shoulder and just like under your arm that this feels really nice under your arm and i will show you that when i show you um, what it looks like on the body so i would say they can fit very um similar amounts i think it's going to come down to mostly aesthetics like which one is more your style and what you think looks the cutest okay so i hope you enjoyed that little rundown of the harper and then um the comparison from the harper midi to the stevie midi i absolutely love both of these bags i think these are my favorite bags bags that um, Mina Bay has ever come out with. Although right now, for some reason, I am on like a Mina Bay kick. Um, all their bags are just working really well for me. And um, I'll have a video coming up soon if you guys are interested of my whole Mina Bay collection and some of the different colors compared to each other because I know it's hard sometimes to like figure out what the colors will actually look like in person and um, next to each other. So I would love to do a little um, Mina Bay collection for you. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys would be interested in that. Also, some really important news about Mina Bay. They're having a site-wide sale, 20% off everything on their site until Sunday, March 22nd, which depending on when this video comes out might be today or maybe tomorrow. So just March 22nd, um, I think midnight um, Pacific Standard Time is when this sale will end. I really love all of their bags, but if you're looking for um, my opinion, I really love um, both sizes of the Kinney and I love these bags here. They don't have their bags go on sale very often So this is an awesome opportunity to snag one of these bags. Okay, I think that's about it So if you guys have any questions leave those down in the comments below Thank you again for hanging out with me for this um, review and comparison between the Mina Bay midi bags And I will see you guys in my next review